Welcome to week two of sectionals here in Northeast Indiana when it comes to high school football. And this is another edition of Inside the Zone with Tom Davis of the New Sentinel. And Tom, week one in the books for sectionals. What was the overall impression that you got? Because my overall impression was that the SAC is exactly what we thought it was, to, to paraphrase Denny Green. It's exactly who we thought they were. That's right. Uh, the SAC in Fort Wayne football is alive and well, uh, particularly when you talk about the North Central Conference. Uh, I don't think they ever want to see another SAC team again. But uh, the teams of Fort Wayne fared pretty well, uh, other than Southside losing at Delta. But uh, Fort Wayne football is every bit as strong as we thought it was. Uh, teams are bigger, stronger, and faster here. And, uh, you know, we've got 350,000 people in Allen County, and we field some good football teams. And I think the, the place where we saw it on display perhaps the most was in 5A, the Snyder game against Kokomo. Kokomo came in, you know, scoring 53 points, giving up just eight, and Snyder walloped them 42 Yeah, number one scoring team in the, in the state of Indiana, Kokomo was, but uh, that didn't matter to the Snyder defense at all. Panthers were just unbelievably good, and uh, that defense, what can you say about them? They were phenomenal. They were tough. They stopped the run. They stopped the pass. And then Tyler Bobilia was solid offensively. And so uh, Snyder sent a message to any other 5A team, hey, this is uh, a whole nother matter when you play us. Yeah, let's take a look at the uh, 5A matchups for this week, at least in our local sectional. You're talking about sectional three, Northside at Snyder and Homestead at Warsaw. Um, obviously, Snyder beat Northside in the regular season in the SAC, and Homestead beat Warsaw 31-7 uh, in week two of this season. Uh, do you see these games basically being repeats of what we saw earlier in the season? Yes, I do. Uh, there might be a team that plays a little bit closer than they did. Maybe Warsaw being at home might be able to score a little bit closer to Homestead. But Northside, I would be stunned if they're going to upset Snyder. But then again, I thought Cherubusco was a guaranteed lock last week, so you just never know. But um, the kids in Northside played really well last week. Uh, they are capable of playing decent. But uh, I look for Snyder to win that game, and I look for Homestead to win. Uh, maybe not by 14 like they did earlier, but they'll win. Is that one of the more interesting games? Because they've played close games throughout, and really um, it took – Homestead this year to kind of get over the hump against Warsaw because they lost to him in week two at Warsaw uh, last year, but they're somewhat similar in the, in the fields that they play, the turf that they play, and kind of the football that they play, a little bit of a balance. Yeah, sometimes it's a mental hump just getting over a team that's had your number for a couple of years, and once you do it once, you feel confident that you can do it again. But uh, Homestead, uh, playing on field turf, they're a whole other team than when they get in the mud and the rain and all that sort of thing. So their offense and their defense both are predicated on uh, execution and speed, and uh, Homestead, uh, I think they'll be able to take care of Warsaw this week. All right, so let's move on to 4A now, and uh, for the most part, it seemed like the teams that we thought were going to advance did advance. East Noble, a winner, they take on Columbia City at Columbia City, Dwanger at Northridge, New Haven at Wayne, and Delta at Muncie Southside. Talking about uh, East Noble at Columbia City, uh, East Noble, or rather Columbia City, without their starting quarterback last week, they managed to beat Elmhurst 21-7. to As we've mentioned on this program, seems like they're one of the teams that's uh, continuing continuing to improve week in and week out. Well, they are. They have a first-year coach in Coach Hudgens who's implemented the spread offense. And so that that's not something that's going to be really good on September 4th. And so it takes weeks and weeks of practice and getting everybody's timing down. And they have played better as the season has gone on. In fact, the last three or four weeks, they've been a really solid team. Now they need to get Logan Rare back to be going on all cylinders. But uh, if they can do that, uh, the East Noble defense hasn't been a stalwart all season long. So uh, Columbia City could score some points on them. I think East Noble will end up winning the game, but uh, don't be surprised if Columbia City puts up some numbers on them. And as far as Dwinger goes, we saw dominance again. Uh, they got another shutout, their fourth straight shutout against DeKalb in the first round on Saturday night. Uh, Northridge, do they pose a, a bigger threat maybe than bigger, the Barons? Yeah, a bigger threat than the Barons did, but uh, not a big enough threat to knock off Dwinger. Each week's going to get more and more challenging for Dwinger as they advance through the tournament, but boy, they're really, really good. So uh, I don't look for them to be extremely challenged until they run up against Delta in the regional. I think the most interesting game, or at least perhaps maybe the more even of the games in 4A locally, will be New Haven and Wayne. Uh, what do you see in that one? Because both of those teams like to run the football and run the football often. Well, Jordan Patterson of Wayne put up uh, almost 100 yards last week, and he's a really solid runner. And then, obviously, Frank Lloyd has gotten 100 just about every game this year. He's been really, really solid as well. So, yes, it's two running teams. Get there early because the game will go fast, and uh, we'll see who can, can end up winning. But I think the SAC strength of schedule will carry Wayne to a, a win over New Haven. New Haven's been up and down all year long. Some nights are 
are really, really good, and then some nights are not so good. And you can't afford to take a, a night off once you get in a, into the tournament. And Wayne really impressed me with going down to Marion and laying a 30 nothing lick on the Giants. And so, uh, obviously, they uh, want to get some stuff done in the